I'm going to present you a short hands-on video about the two features, Command Dial and Touch UI, of the new Samsung Smart Camera Annex 2000. The NX2000 has an amazing 20.3 megapixel sensor with an increased 3.7 inch full touch display. It also has a command dial which can control various functions very easily. Moreover, the auto share feature will also help you capture your most precious moments by sharing more easily. You can switch the lens to suit your various scene conditions so it's possible for everyone to take professional photographs using the NX2000. The thing that you see right here is the command dial. You will be using it most often and will find it very useful when using the NX2000. Unlike other cameras, the NX2000's command dial does so much more than just switching up your shooting modes. You can use the command dial to control various details when shooting photos. Let's start with turning the camera on. When you turn the command dial, you will see a screen showing all the different modes you can choose from. I'll select Smart Mode. Set it on Smart Mode by turning the dial like this. And just press the dial. You can press the dial right away instead of searching for other buttons. And out of all the modes available, if you want to try, say, Rich Tone Mode, just turn and then push the dial again. You can also use Touch Tile Mode to go through Smart Modes. You can see all the Smart Modes in one thumbnail. Shall we try taking a picture using one of the smart modes? Let's try creative shot to take a stylish picture. Okay. Beautiful. Let's try expert mode this time. Turn the command dial as done before and select expert mode. In manual mode, you can set values for shutter speed, aperture, and so on to adjust your own custom settings. It looks a little bit dark. Let's select the shutter speed by pushing the command dial. Turn the dial and set the shutter speed to 80. You can move to aperture by pushing the command dial one more time. Let's set the aperture to 5.6 by turning the command dial again. Let's take a picture. Now we've got a picture with just the right exposure. Now, let's go through other features. It's called Smart Panel. Do you see the button here? It's called the Function Button. Pressing the Function Button, you can change the shutter speed and also change the aperture. The Command Dial is not the only way to access these features. Dragging and touching the screen, just like this, can change the values. Shall we try taking another picture by using the touch screen? This time, let's change the white balance. You can select various settings such as tungsten and others. I will select daylight. Okay. Let's shoot. Very nice. Now we are going to try a feature called Touch AF. You can select the Touch AF by touching the icon at the left, and after that, select Touch AF again. Shall we give it a try? If I touch the background, the camera will focus on the back, but if I touch the flower, it will focus on the flower. You can also control the size of the AF box using pinch in and out. You can control the part you want to focus on by reducing the size of the AF box. One more thing. You can also take a picture by using the feature called One Touch Shot. Select the One Touch Shot mode. Let me show you. Okay. 
We can take a picture right away by touching the screen without having to press the shutter button at the top. You can also pinch in and out when viewing the photos that you've taken. When you're in playback mode, just zoom in by pinching in to enjoy the high-resolution photos taken with the NX2000. So, what do you think? By taking advantage of the command dial and touch UI, it's easy to take more professional pictures with the NX2000. Shoot Wow! Share Now! Samsung Smart Camera